The way society is handling the current wave of sexual allegations is particularly appalling. I need to state up front that rape, sexual assault, sexual abuse, sexual harassment, and any form of illegal sexual activity needs to be taken seriously and dealt with severely. That is not what is happening right now. What is happening right now is nothing more than a disgusting circus. It's a media disaster of a mob with the proverbial pitchforks, torches, and lynchings that society claims to despise yet so willingly participates in. I have to thank 1791L for their incredible video on social media mobs, which you should definitely watch next. The unfortunate reality is that most, if not all of the narratives, have accepted the guilty upon accusation approach to each of the scandals, because as of now there have been no trials, no charges, and no arrests made. This will change with time, but right now there is nothing more than allegations, he said she said. But the progressive social justice narrative is running the conversation. Every single one of the accusers is honest. Every single one of the accused is guilty. However, legally, each of these accused persons has the right to be considered innocent until proven guilty either by a court of law or by their own admission, and they're owed the right of due process if they're going to be charged and convicted. These rights, the rights of Kevin Spacey, Roy Moore, Harvey Weinstein, Allison Mack, and so many others are rights that also belong to me and to you. These rights are guiding principles that we should be adhering to, namely the 6th and 14th Amendments to the Constitution of the United States and arguably the Coffin versus United States case decision as rendered by the Supreme Court. That decision stated something that has been precedent for years in our legal system. Quote, the principle that there is a presumption of innocence in favor of the accused is the undoubted law axiomatic and elementary, and its enforcement lies at the foundation of the administration of our criminal law. What is happening right now is a presumption of guilt, a narrative that is setting a precedent for how society treats people who are accused of crimes in the future. There are many people speaking about the relative guilt or innocent of these celebrity figures, but the truth is no one really knows. Only the accused, the accusers, and a very few witnesses really know what happened the rest of us do not. None but these few can speak to the true innocence or guilt of any of these accused men or women. None of us know all of the facts. None of us know any of the hard evidence aside from statements made to the media. And none of us have been asked to sit on a jury or act as a judge or as an arbiter. This applies to everyone, the pundits, the media, and the entertainment commentators rushing to either crucify or defend each of the accused. The default assumption has been that each one is guilty, but largely it's just been a media circus. This is not the law. It is not justice. It is not principled. It is not informed, and it is not the standard we would apply to ourselves or that we would want to apply to ourselves in any situation where we were accused of a crime. When the current narrative of guilty upon accusation becomes the normal precedent, then sexual misconduct conduct allegations quickly become a golden bullet for the ultimate form of character assassination. It's the golden ticket to railroad someone's entire life. For example, Kevin Spacey is experiencing some of the negative impacts of being found guilty of a crime, but he's not even been charged with a crime at this point. If these events happened post-conviction, they would be easily warranted, but these consequences are happening merely off the word of another person. This is a kangaroo court of public opinion that is currently being held in our society. It is eroding the very system that we demand bring justice to convicted rapists and sex offenders and to provide justice for real victims. The court of public opinion is not impartial. It is not fair, and as such, it cannot produce justice. It can only produce injustice as it satisfies society's lust for instant gratification, punishment, and vengeance. It accepts the word of a glory hunter or jealous co-worker as equal, with a real victim struggling to bring their past into the light. And if the word of a slanderous fame seeker is discredited, the story of the real victim is also likely to suffer. Without the ability for accuser and accused or victim and perpetrator to meet and to testify and to state their case before an impartial court of law, the real perpetrators and real victims are unlikely to find real justice. If we accept that allegations are the same thing as guilt and we accept this kangaroo court's right to ruin people's lives, then we must resign ourselves to the fact that we have more interest in vengeance than justice and that in our quest for public revenge, we 
we are going to neglect the need for true justice that so many victims deserve. We must accept instead that we have created more victims by condemning and ruining people who are the target not of legitimate legal claims, but instead are being destroyed for personal vendettas, jealousy, bitterness, and spite. We must accept that real victims are just going to have to settle for social consequences for their abuser rather than just legal consequences. This kangaroo court, this mob and allegation fest that is going on now is setting a precedent for creating more casualties, ignoring real victims, and creating an atmosphere in which no one really gets true justice.